Hi there, hello, welcome. Hello, there was a hand-painted sign outside that said free candy. That's not mine, and you probably shouldn't follow signs like that. It has not worked out so far. Not once, so that's a good point. Anyway, I'm not glad once. you're here, because I can tell you about this new place I'm Had preparing. To let know that, what's, huh? what's going on here? Well, let me tell you, you've heard of bars, haven't you? Yes, earlier today I had a granola one. I mean, bar, like the places <laughs> where you drink. Oh, the poison station, where I slightly poison myself for poison. fun. Exactly, so this is going to be another place to slightly poison yourself, but I've made everything. <sighs> much better or you know much worse depending on how you Most feel likely. about unenjoyable things. I like those odds. I'm listening. Oh, uh, you will be listening to this. <laughs> Does that just keep going? All night, baby, with on almost repeat? no variety. Wow. <laughs> just imagine a whole bunch of people in here dancing no variety. with that. So jam-packed together that it's almost impossible to dance to that. It sounds sweaty. <laughs> oh, it will be, and people are going to spill their poison all over each other. It's pretty much inevitable. <laughs> so, like, what if I don't enjoy dancing, though? Oh, I got you covered. See, spill I think their groups poison? of guys can get all hyped up to come here, and then once they get here, <laughs> they just stand around with a drink like this. There you go. That's pretty much uh, how it goes. Yeah, that looks like a safe move. We're at a table. Do, while also masking the fact that I'm deeply insecure about how I might look dancing. It's the perfect <laughs> move. So imagine a bunch of guys standing there like that and just staring at women. That sounds kind of creepy. Yeah, but in here it'll be more acceptable for some reason. <laughs> wow, and then I guess if some guy's for feeling some real reason. brave, he could go talk to a lady. That's no, right. talking's not Maybe. an option because I'm going to play that music so loud you could feel it in your lungs, but you can <laughs> scream into women's ears if you like. That sounds just as romantic. Okay, let's get this party started. I'm ready. <laughs> Oh, easy there, buddy. This club's oh going to be pretty much empty until about midnight. Did you say club? <laughs> I did. Yeah, that's what I'm calling this place, I decided. So I have to join? No, no, it's not like that. Okay, so no membership fees. <laughs> you know, no, 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 no. But you will pay to enter. <laughs> uh, I'm calling it a cover charge. Why? Because I'll use that money to cover my boat payments. <laughs> okay, well, I'm not paying to get in here. The vibe's pretty cool. Oh, no, easy there, buddy. You can't oh just stroll on in just by giving me money. I can't? No, I'm going to make people line up in the cold for quite a bit before letting them in. Oh, so we'll be outside. <laughs> in the cold kind of acting as a living advertisement for how popular this place must be. Exactly. Living Just all of them lined up in front of a go. large angry man. A large angry man? Yeah, a large angry man. Mm -hmm. He'll make sure nobody skips out of the advertising line. He'll just stand there and <laughs> judge and be angry. Sounds like the right guy for the job. But if you slip him a bit of cash, he might just let you in. Is that the cover charge? No, that's a different charge. But then I'm in. <laughs> yeah, but then you also have to give me some money to put your coat on a hanger. That's only fair. <laughs> Hangers are expensive. No, they're not. No. And then you come in and you have a good time. No. Or a bad one you know, depending again. You know, what if I want to stand <laughs> out here and look really cool? Oh, I got you covered on that. Tell me how this sounds. I'm listening to you. I'll let you buy a $30 <laughs> bottle of poison for several hundreds of dollars. And that'll impress people. <laughs> you kidding me? Of course. People will see the poor financial decision you made and be like, oh, this guy's got to be important to throw money away like that. Oh, that sounds God. great. And if you really want to look cool, I could have a VIP section for you. You know what VIP is, right? Uh, I do. I do. Vip. No, very important person. <laughs> Where? I'm looking Vip. at him, potentially, you know, if you throw enough money at me. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll have a little couch there for you, and that's that's all. Uh, sit down <laughs> on a nice, comfortable couch, unable to hear what anyone's saying. Well, I wouldn't say comfortable. It'll be the cheapest fake leather one I can find. Well, you can tell the difference in the dark, cheapest. am I right? You will, you will. There's not going to be any lumbar support. Well, listen, this all sounds great. I got to go, though, but I'll be back way past my bedtime <sighs> to stand outside in the cold and give you money. Sounds great. Where are you headed? To the doctor. I got this brain injury a while back that just destroyed my ability to make good decisions. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're definitely the perfect customer for this place. <laughs> De definitely. Know, it's definitely the perfect customer. Real quick, I used to go to clubs as a photographer and videographer in Las Vegas, uh, Treasure Island. Treasure Island. I had a buddy that we have a party every Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday. I can't remember, but I was a videographer. That's really the only time I would do that. My brother one time had a, had a show at a couple of clubs that I would go to. I would go support him, but the other guy was going to work. And that's really it. Me and my wife, that was not our thing. We were not into clubs. We were not into nightclubs, the nightlife, none of that stuff. Uh, that, that wasn't our thing. We were foodies. We're still foodies. So it was more about food, movies, all that kind of stuff. Nightclubs, no. For women, it's a little bit different because, you know, maybe you just want to go dance. What's that Dane Cook uh, joke? Guys, let's just go dancing. <laughs> like if guys want to do that, it's never a thing. Like women can do it, but guys, no, we're not doing that. But it just wasn't for us. Was it for you? Let me know in the comments below. Like, were you a clubber? Uh, did you go clubbing? Uh, was that your thing? Uh, not for me. Never was for me. Well, let's check out the ad. 
me, I'm the Adstronaut. I'm out here in Ad Space to talk to you about NordVPN. So listen, one of the things I love the most about NordVPN is that it lets me watch geo-restricted content from around the world. Like my current favorite show, news program where the anchor is just talking about his day. Today's top story, I went to the store to buy some bananas because I was out. Of bananas. The other great thing about NordVPN is that it keeps okay. me safe in different ways. Like, for example, their threat protection warns me about potentially dangerous websites and scans for malware. That gives me peace of mind as I surf the web while my news show plays in the background. In other news, one of the smoke detectors in my home seems to be low on batteries, which is annoying because I was just at the store for the bananas. NordVPN <laughs> also lets me encrypt my okay. online traffic to keep freaking hackers away from my sweet, keep sweet those private freaking information. Hackers so if away. I want to watch my news show on public Wi-Fi, which which I do, I can do that safely. The bottom of my foot is itchy at the moment, but scratching it would involve removing my whole shoe. So hey, you can get NordVPN with an exclusive deal right now. Every purchase oh of the two-year plan will receive a bonus four months on top. And that's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. So thanks, Nord. Now it's back to the news. And now for some breaking news. I have to sneeze. Just the simple things. Yeah. In the comments, let me know. Were you a clubber? Did you go to the club? Did you get your dance on? Did you go look for girls? Did you go look for guys? Whatever the case. Let me know in the comments. I'm always interested. There's some people that I know that were, you know, they went to clubs. That's like what they love to do. And like looking at them, I will have never known. Uh, <laughs> it's just sometimes, you know, you, you get surprised. But it just wasn't for me. Same for my wife. This wasn't for us. We, we weren't really into that kind of stuff. We would spend our money on other things. And it's all entertainment, which is fine. But when I was doing the photography, I would see some of the money that people were paying for the VIP areas, which were like not exclusive at all, but it was a status thing. That's kind of all that mattered. It's kind of like, okay, that's, you're spending so much money on these things. Just, it's, it's a little bit ridiculous, but that's my experience. Tell me your experience in the comments below. Funny one from Ryan George. He highlights everything here. I like how it connects with the poison one from that other video, which you can check out up here. Uh, first guy to open a bar. Uh, but let me know your thoughts on this and maybe on that one if you check it out. Other than that, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you liked what you saw here as far as this reaction. Hopefully you love to laugh. If you do, subscribe, like the video. Let's watch some more together. And I'll see you as always on the next one. Take care.